Welcome to another curriculum burst. This time, let's do a great question for the grade 10 exam. It's a little bit unusual. Here it goes. Brian writes down four integers. W, which is greater than X, which is greater than Y, which is greater than Z. Let me just write that on the board for myself. W is greater than X, greater than Y, greater than Z. Whose sum is 44. Okay, so these four numbers add up to 44. The pairwise positive differences of these numbers are 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 9. I know I just read it, I'm not quite sure what I read. Let me keep going. What is the sum of the possible values for W? Alright. So, the first step in problem solving is to read the question, done, and have an emotional reaction to it. And my emotional reaction to this one is, oh boy, I'm confused. I have no idea what I've just read. Um, let's take it slowly. We've got four numbers. Got that. That's fine. And they add up to 44. So the middle sentence is a little bit confusing. The pairwise positive differences of these numbers are these various values. The pairwise positive differences. All right, pairwise, it must be about pairs. So if I take pairs of these numbers, all different pairs, lots of them, I guess the positive differences, the differences between these numbers, must be one of these numbers. All right, so two of these numbers differ by one, another two differ by three, some differ by five, a pair differ by nine, and so on. All right, and then the question is something about w, work out the value of w or something. That's, that's the detail, it's a little bit scary, and I'll leave that off for the moment. All right, so here it is. These numbers are out to 44. They have pairwise differences given by those values. Tell me something about w. That's basically the question. I'm still a bit nervous about it. But this question has some interesting features to it. I'll give it a whole range of values. There's a lovely strategy, strategy number 10, which is go to extremes. And look at these extreme differences. I've got a very small extreme of one, a difference of 1, and a large extreme of a difference of 9. Let me just focus on the 9 for the moment. So two of these numbers have to differ by 9. Which two could it be? Now, 9 is the largest difference. So if x and y differ by 9, I might be in trouble because w and y have to differ, differ by something bigger still. There is no bigger difference. So the only way you get a difference of 9, it must be from the two most extreme values, w and z, must differ by 9. All right, now, the question's about w. So I could write z in terms of w or w in terms of z, but since the question's about w, let me write z in terms of w. It must differ from w by 9 and be smaller than it in this case. So z must be w mi minus 9. All right, so our numbers are w is greater than x, greater than y, is greater than w minus 9, and we've dealt with the extreme difference of 9. Actually, the question's a little bit simpler. At least you got rid of one of the variables now, but still a bit overwhelming. So let's go to the other extreme. 1. Which two numbers can differ by 1? Well, if you think about it, there must be a pair of neighbouring numbers. W and X can differ by 1, maybe the middle two differ by 1, or maybe the last two differ by 1. Nothing else is going to differ by 1 from the world of integers, I guess. Oh, so I've got three possibilities, it seems. I'm not quite sure which one I'm going to deal with. But since I don't know what I'm really doing, I'm just going to push on and see what happens. So let me just write down all three possibilities, and again, focus on W. So maybe it's W and X differ by 1. So maybe it could be W and so if X, I'll write W minus 1 they differ by 1, and there's still a y greater than w minus 9. Well, the other possibility is the middle two could differ by 1. w is bigger than, I'll keep it as x, but then the next one I guess I'd be x minus 1. It's greater than w minus 9. And the third possibility is the last two differ by 1. But focusing on w, I'll write this as w is bigger than x, is bigger than, oh, differ by 1, because that's w minus 8 and w minus 9. All right, three possibilities. I have no idea which case I'm in. Maybe I'm in several of these cases of all possible. Actually, think about it. Look at this first case. I see w minus 1 and w minus 9. Those two numbers differ by 8. And 8's not on my list. Aha! Out goes that, that possible case. And actually, I'm going to stop here, because I think we're on a route now that could yield to something fruitful. I bet you can eliminate one of these other two cases as well, so we know which of these cases we're in. And then, employ exactly the same strategy. You've dealt with the case of difference of 1, difference of 9, so go to extremes again. Look where the difference of 6 could be, and then look where the difference of 3 could be. And I have a feeling things might fall into place. So give it a try. If you get an answer, great. If you get stuck, that's fine too. You can always check the essay. Everything's spelled out there for you. So have fun with this and see how far you can get. Lots of fun indeed. Thanks. Thanks for watching. For more curriculum inspirations material, go to our website. Lots of great stuff there.